What's up? What's happening? What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to the channel today. We have Jamal Childs through the years. I said Jamal Childs represent Texas. Man, Texas got some good running backs. Earl Campbell, Ricky Williams, Cedric Benson, and now Jamal Childs. And then, of course, the Kansas City Chiefs, they do too, man. From Christian Okoye, Marcus Allen, uh, Priest Holmes, Larry Johnson, and now Jamal Childs. And, of course, we got to kick this off in NCAA 06. He's 74 overall. Now, they have him wearing 24, but I did my due diligence, and I am comfortable to say that this is Jamal Charles because in the very next game, his height and weight stayed about the same, and they gave him 25. So I'm going to say that this is Jamal Charles. So anyways, he is 74 overall, 93 speed, 89 agility, 93 acceleration, 72 carry, and 76 break tackle for his freshman year in NCAA 06. And his numbers in real life look like this. He carried the ball 119 times for 870 yards, averaging 7.4 yards a carry and 11 TDs on the ground. And, of course, that was the year when they won the national championship versus University of Spoiled Children. Now, anyways, man, NCAA 07 on the PS2. We got Jamal Charles coming in at 89 overall. Now, I will tell you his numbers for the 360 version as well. All right here. 89 overall, 95 speed, 93 agility, 95 for his acceleration, 86 break tackle, 92 elusiveness, 91 ball carrier vision, 85 for his spin move, 85 for his juke moving in the 87 carry, and his speed was ridiculous, man. Did you see him carve up Texas Tech like it was nothing going to the going to the right, then taking it up that guy, making a man miss and taking that thing to the crib. So moving on to the 07 version on the 360, his numbers stayed exactly the same. Same. So let's move on to his real life numbers for his sophomore season. Played in 12 games, ran the ball 156 times for 831 yards, averaging 5.3 yards a carry, 7 TDs on the ground, also had one through the air, and he also caught 18 passes. Now, I need to see this matchup in real life again, man. Texas versus Texas A&M. NCAA, bring that thing back, man. Now, anyways, man, NCAA 08, Jamal Charles comes in at 91 overall with 96 speed, 94 agility, 96 acceleration, 84 break tackle, 92 elusive. 86 ball carrier vision, 85 spin move, 89 jump move, and then the 86 carry rating. Those numbers check in like this. For his junior year in his last season, he ran the ball 258 times for 1,619 yards, averaging 6.3 yards to carry, 18 TDs though. So his total numbers look like this. He caught a total of 49 passes, ran the ball a total of 533 times for 3,328 yards, averaging 6.2 yards to carry, 36 TDs on the ground, and three through the air. And his average for his virtual game self in college, 84.7 overall is his average overall. So let's move on to his Kansas City Chiefs days. And yes, they haven't won 29. If, it, if it's not Eric Berry, y'all you, 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 know what I mean. He shouldn't be wearing 29. But that's what they have him wearing. I don't know. That's what they did. I left it. I could have changed it by the side of either, man. Anyways, man. Madden 09. 75 overall with 96 speed, 95 agility, 98 acceleration, 90 elusiveness, 55 ball carry vision, 85 uh, spin move, 90 juke move, and a 75 carry rating. His numbers for his rookie season look like this. Now, the Chiefs still had Larry Johnson. So, your boy... Jamal Charles only started two games, ran the ball only 67 times, but he ran for 357 yards, averaging 5.3 yards a carry, but he did not get a touchdown on the ground, but he did have, did have one through the air. Moving on to Madden 2010, Jamal Charles is 68 overall, 93 speed, 87 agility, 96 acceleration, also comes in with 85 elusiveness, 65 ball carrier vision, 77 for his spin move, 80 for his juke move, and then a 72 carry rating let's get into his numbers for his second season he played in 15 games started just 10 of them but he ran the ball 190 times for 1120 yards seven tds through the air and he also had one t or seven tds on the ground excuse me also had one td through the air and his longest run that season was a 76 yarder and of course he averaged 5.9 yards per Okay, but let's move on to Madden 2011 with Jamal Childs. This is 87 overall with 97 speed, 96 agility, 98 acceleration, 97 elusiveness, 95 for his ball carry vision, 93 for his spin move, 96 for his juke move, and a 76 carry rating for Jamal Charles. And right here on the kick return, doing big things. Doing big things. Jamal Charles takes that thing to the crib. You can't stop the man from Texas.
Go ahead and stay, man. One more time. Check out the replay. He's going to cut this right. Whoop! Hit him with the spin move one time, Jamal. And take that thing to the crib. Now, his numbers for this season look like this. He played in 16 games but started just six of them. He ran the ball 230 times for 1,000. 467 yards. I said 1,467 yards. So nice, I had to say it twice. And on top of that, he had five TDs, averaging 6.4 yards to carry. Absolutely ridiculous. And he had three TDs through the air, doing his thing. Mr. Jamal Charles, I see you, big homie. I see you. Moving on to man of 2012 with Jamal Charles comes in at 95 overall. 98 speed, 98 agility. 98 acceleration, 99 elusiveness, 98 ball carry vision, 94 spin move, 98 juke move, and then the 87 carry rating. Now, his numbers look like this. If you remember, he got hurt, I believe, week two versus the uh, Detroit Lions, I want to say. So, he only ran the ball 12 times. Maybe, maybe, no, that was week one. I take that back. I believe it was week one he got hurt uh, versus the Detroit Lions. But anyways, man, ran the ball just 12 times for 83 yards, though. Had a long of 24. He averaged 6.9 yards per carry, and he had a receiving TD. Even the year that he was basically hurt the whole season, still managed to get into the end zone. That's a bad boy. Madden 13, we got my man Jamar Charles from Texas. 91 overall after his injury with 97 speed, 97 agility, 97 acceleration, 96 elusiveness, 94 bar ca ball carrier vision, excuse me, 93 for his uh, spin move, 97 juke move, and then the 87 or 88 for his carry. His numbers after he bounced back from that knee injury, played in 16 games, started 15 of them, ran the ball 285 times for 1,509 yards. Five TDs along of 91. He busts out a 91 yarder and he averaged 5.3 yards a carry. And of course, he had a TD through the air as well. Doing his thing. That's all I can say. He was doing his thing. Now, at this point, if you didn't know who Jamal Charles is, you ought to take a left hand and slap yourself. Okay, man? It's just it's disrespectful. After this year, you didn't know who he was. Okay? 94 overall for Madden 25, 98 speed, 97 agility, 97 acceleration, 97 elusiveness, 98 ball carry vision, 92 for his speed or spin move, excuse me, 97 jerk moving and an 85 carry. But those numbers in real life, they look like this. He played in 15 games, started all 15. Ran the ball 259 yards for 1,287 yards. 12 TDs on the ground. Averaging 5, five yards per carry. 85.8 yards per game. He also had 7 TDs through the air and 70 receptions. Household name at this point. If you didn't know, go ask somebody. Anyways, man, man of 15. After that great year, he should have been 99 overall. I don't care what nobody say. But he's 97 overall. Not the biggest guy, so I understand his truck is not going to be there, but whatever. 97 overall, 98 speed, 97 agility, 98 acceleration, 99 elusiveness, 99 ball carry vision, 94 spin move, 80, 98 juke move, and then a 94 carry. His numbers for this season look like this. Started 15 games, played in 15 games, ran the ball 206 times for 1,033 yards, 9 TDs, averaging 5 yards per carry again. He also had 5 TDs through the air and 40 receptions. Just a beast. A man amongst boys. The man from Texas. The man that had to compete in the Special Olympics because he had a learning disability. And I'm with Jamal Charles because I had one too. For all I know, I'm still suffering by one because a lot of y'all call me stupid and dumb. But anyways, man, let's move on to Madden 16 where he is 94 overall yet again with 92 speed. 98 agility, 92 acceleration, 95 elusiveness, 99 ball carry vision, 94 for his spin move, 97 for his juke move, and then an 88 carry. His numbers for this season look like this. Started five games, played in just five games due to another knee injury, but he ran the ball 71 times for 364 yards, four TDs in just five games, averaging 5.1 yards per carry again just in five games. He also managed to get himself in the end zone through the air, and he had 21 receptions as well. Jamal Charles, who's a bad boy. You are a bad boy, and I heard that he has a chance to come back for the playoffs if the Chiefs get there. Right now, they look like they will get there, but if they get there, Jamal Charles has a good chance of making it from what I read. Now, anyways, man, Kansas City, he's 89 overall for the Chiefs in Madden 17. 
and you might get him back with a higher overall if you can come back strong. I'm just saying. Anyways, 91 speed, 97 agility, 92 acceleration, 93 elusiveness, 96 ball carry, vision, 92 spin move, 95 juke move, and the 87 carry. His numbers for this year, they look like this. He ran the ball 12 times. Basically in that one game versus the Raiders, I want to say. I might be wrong about that because he did play in three games. But the majority of it came versus the Raiders. That TD he has so far came versus the Raiders. He also has two receptions for 14 yards, man. Hopefully Jamal Charles can't get back. If he does, it's good for the league. It's good for everybody. But as we check things out, he is 87 overall for his career. So far, I'm at it. That's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hot sauce.